Do you guys think, and they do play each other on Thanksgiving night, does the Steelers-Ravens rivalry still have the same juice it used to, Peter? Oh, wow. Um, you know, I saw the schedule came out and it was Thanksgiving night, Steelers, Ravens. And, uh, you know, I, yeah. I said, OK, all right. But to even question whether it's got the same juice, I'm picturing Michael Jordan last night in the last dance. Baseball bat, cigar, Mike Tomlin, just even seeing this question being fielded, you know, smoking <laughs> the cigar. Are you seriously even asking this? Yes, it's got the same juice. And with that defense, which I think might have been the best in the NFL last season down the stretch, the Steelers. I think with a healthy Ben Roethlisberger, it might have more juice than it has in the last 10 years coming into this season right now. So, yes, I still cannot wait for Steelers-Ravens, one of the hardest-hitting rivalries. I don't care if the Steelers haven't been there in January the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. They're still going to hit you, and they've got their, their mind set on Lamar. Uh, listen, Peter, you get excited for any matchup, and that's why we love you. But last week, as a show, we did about 700 segments about what game are you looking forward to for this and for that. I don't think any of us said Steelers-Ravens. I, I just don't think it came out of our mouths. And mm. listen, right. when, when Mike Tomlin is sticking out his foot to trip Hollywood Brown, then we'll know it's back. I think part of the issue <laughs> is I don't know if the Steelers <laughs> quite have their identity yet. They're still in that post-Antonio Brown, Le'Veon, Roethlisberger was hurt world. The Ravens know exactly who they are. We will find out this year who Pittsburgh is, and then we'll get to tripping. <laughs> <laughs> they will get to trip it. Hey, you a fool with it, Kyle. Do, do they still have the juice when it comes to this rivalry? No, not at all. And this isn't me acting what? all big and bad from my basement talking about the Steelers. They just no. don't have the same type of energy like that old Harrison squad. I mean, listen, Big Ben hasn't been back in a while. And before he got hurt, he wasn't playing lights out. But he's back um, the, the wide receiver group haven't been as productive since Antonio Brown left. The running game hasn't been consistent since Le'Veon left. So for me, they're going to have to recapture the magic. Does does do the Steelers have juice because of Big Ben's resume and Mike Tomlin's resume? Yes, but it's, there's a difference between the juice and the sauce. Lamar Jackson got the sauce. That's because he's the <laughs> boss of the division. Until somebody goes out there and beats him, then nah, nobody cares about the juice. <laughs> you guys, we got to throw away week 17. Ravens rested all their players. The one actual time these two played each other last year, it was 23. It was overtime. The Ravens won by like three. It was a really, no really bed. good, very Steelers, very Ravens. Game. Yeah, Don't remember it. And so now Ben's back in the fold, and you guys think the rivalry's dead? What? I'm with Shrake on this one. What do you guys think? Is that a, the RG3 game? Let us know, man. <laughs>